Hello my Tauruses and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie and yes I am Debbie. Now we're reading for March 27th, 28th, 29th and 30th Monday through Thursday. I have done an overview moving forward moving forward I think that's it or it moving something it something moving <laughs> anyway um, please take a look at that because I have done a you know overview of what's going on in the planets and Taurus is involved and also I did a reading for what's going on in the world I also remind you all that these are general readings that may or may not resonate take what you like leave the rest okay okay so my Taurus is yes you have Uranus and Venus it there is a connection going on I did feel for my Taurus is that some of the um, I don't know the extreme emotion that I've been feeling it has it has tapered down a little bit it has not taken you off of your focus though it's just that you're you know I just don't feel it as like like just like so strong it was so strong it was like oh my goodness my Taurus is uh, I just feel like it has and maybe this is because of Saturn with Pisces or maybe with Venus in Taurus I just feel like it has really just refocused on some very strong priorities for you okay so let's see higher power so I feel like this is a good week to concentrate on those priorities and um you know get things keep getting things done get things done i don't feel the the anger <laughs> i don't know what was it just very strong emotion again strong focus just it doesn't have the emotion um the emotional <sighs> um, energy it's not exhausting you as much let's put it that way okay let's see higher power holy spirit what do you have for our tauruses what what's going to what, what do they need to know? What would be good for them? What's Give us some happy stuff. Give us some, but give us some truth. Truth. And if it can be happy, that's okay too. So let's see what we've got. These are reverse, so strong stuff. Let's see. First card is the world. Well, that's very happy. So we have a 21. This is Major Arcana, made, um, Archangel Energy. This is 21, 2, Choices, Decisions, 1, New Beginning, New Start. Two plus one is a three, celebration, creation, also the power of three. This is the end of the fool's journey, but it's really not the end. The, the, fool, the fool who started out just doing whatever because he just knew, he, she knew he had to, comes to this point where he has learned what he needs to learn, and now he is ready to face even more. Now, sometimes with the world, it's basically that you can sit and rest a little bit, and just kind of enjoy whatever has been happening but then many times with the world it's just it's it's not an ending as much as it is a new beginning the world says that things are going up are, are <laughs> that things are the way they need to be you have conquered something maybe personally maybe spiritually um, you know there is a lot of ascension energy going on so maybe you have come to a place of wisdom there is this sense of growing, there is this sense of maturing, but there is still more out there, more to come for you. But it's a good place, it's a good jumping off um, time, okay? So a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. Archangel Michael, the angel, the warrior angel, the defending angel, the leader of the angels, that you know the fighting angels okay next card reversed the two of Gabriel so we have that two again um, two choices decisions Gabriel is our fire energy it's our Aries Leo and Sagittarius and you know, again if you watch the overview then you'll know that Aries has a lot of things going on too um, this is maybe this is a partnering maybe this is a decision but this is now this is an emboldenment. This is saying, I know what I need to do. I know what my next step is. Remember, I told you that I felt like your energy is not so, you know, the emotions aren't necessarily clouding your path as much. It's like you're more focused, you're more on point, you're more laser focused. And again, that could have something to do with that Saturn and Pisces. It's like you just, all of this other stuff is just um, noise. This is what you want to focus on. This is, you know, it's kind of a coming of age energy too. So you have a 212 
backward forward. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your dream. And I kind of feel like you could, um, you know, you could have that connection. You could connect with others and just kind of like, you know, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to accomplish. This is what I want to build. Um, you know, maybe, and you know, it could be, you know, with a lawyer. It could be with a bank. It could be with, again, I don't do legal or financial. It, but it could be someone that can help you um, establish and grow those next steps of your dreams. Okay, reverse card here. The Ace of Ariel. So you have a 2-1-2-1. Two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two. So and that's, you know, that's the, you know, well, this isn't quite a palindrome, but it's close. Anyway, the Ace is a one, new beginning, new start. Ariel is your sign. And, you know, and again, Uranus and Venus, you know, all this conjunction happening in your sign. It's also, you know, it's also Virgo. It's also Capricorn money, job, career, very tangible energy. This is a lot of powerful energy saying, you know, it's it, it's like, you know, God, Source, Holy Spirit, um, whoever it is has your back. This is the angels are walking with you. So you've got a lot of very powerful, very strong, believe in yourself. And again, I just keep seeing your, you know, I just keep seeing things more focused. You know, this is all noise. This is all distraction. This is where I want to go. Okay. And this, I love this message. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or promotion. And if the job is changing, it doesn't necessarily mean it's changing, um, that you're changing a company. It could be that you're changing within your company, too. Um, I just feel this is you, you know, and again, you know, this is you taking more, um, more control, if you want to say, but yet not. It, it's, again... Your focus, you're, you just you just know what you want, and you know you you have a better idea on what you want, and you have a better idea on how to get it, and the energies are focusing you more and more. It's it's you're being more pinpointed. Okay. Anyway, let's see. Guardian angels, higher power, Holy Spirit. What else for our Tauruses here? What else for our Tauruses? A lot, you know, the twos and the ones, ones and the twos. Let's see what we have here. Twos and ones, ones and twos. Here we go. What do we have for our Tauruses? One of action. So now we have that one, or I should say ace of action. So we have that ace, which is that one, but action is also our fire sign here and remember you know i like i said i talk about aries and other things going on too so fire aries leo sagittarius passionate burning determined this is a wonderful opportunity there is you know lucky day really i mean this has really positive positivity all written into it this cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action, and if you've been procrastinating, it's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. Yeah, it's like it's like the clarity. It, it's like things that had been so, you know, so loosey-goosey out there. Like I said, it's so pinpointed. It's so focused. And I think it's 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 becoming clearer and clearer. The clarity, the clarity. It's like yes, this is where we want. This is what I need to do. Anyway, let's see what we've got here. Inspirational wisdom, angels and fairies. What would you like? What else should be said to our Tauruses here? What else should we say? So you have a two one two one 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 two one two. Here we go. So the ones and twos have it. All right, here we are. Reversed. The Magnolia Fairy. We've seen her before. Ah, when you release doubt, you will discover the astounding power and strength deep within you. Good job. Anyway, let's see. Crystal or energy? 
Yeah, because you could still be very clear. You could still be very pinpoint, but you could still also maybe, you know, have, oh, is this where I'm supposed to go? I just don't feel that energy, but it is a good, it is a good message. Um, it is a good message, especially about the power and strength deep within you. Anyway, let's see. Crystal or energy for my Tauruses here. For my Tauruses. And remember, we are coming to the point that even though we just started the astrological year, we are in Aries, which is finishing up your year. Okay, so this is where you, you, get, things, you get things done. Reversed, Sapphire. Channeled wisdom, psychic ability, self-expression, destiny. I don't know. Do you have any sapphires? That destiny does uh, pop out. Anyway, my Taurus is this. I mean, the ones and twos, the twos and ones, a little bit, you know, three ones, two twos, right? Anyway, um, yeah, I just get this clarity. I just get kind of like, you know, do you understand? Crystal, crystal clear. Yes. Okay, so... My Tauruses. If you would like to support my channel, I know this gets a little old, but you guys are so wonderful doing it, and I have to say it because it does work. If you'd like to support my channel, please go down to the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. It helps tremendously. If you're watching me on Rumble, then Rumble me also. Okay, my Tauruses, as always, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.